everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Shawnee and we are Glitzy Stitches Home DIY. Today we're going to be participating in the DIY Clock Challenge hosted by Shabby French Door and Sandra of the Schwowen's Nest is the co-host today. Excited about this challenge? It's different and that's I love a challenge and it's definitely a challenge for me um, to make a clock. So, I want to make this clock. I do not have the works today, but I do have the hands, and later on I will purchase the works because this clock I want to make functionable. Okay, this heart I purchased at the Dollar Tree. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I've taken some Waverly chalk paint in the color Ballet Slipper, and I did dilute it with some white Waverly chalk paint as well. I want it to be the palest of pink and I'll show you why in just a second. And what I'm going to do here is I simply am going to paint our heart and I want this um, just a pale pale pink just like so. And I always want to go with the grain of the wood the way the wood is going it just makes the paint lay so much smoother. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this painted. Okay, friends, so we've dried our heart and it's now pink. What we want with this heart is we want this heart to have some character. So what we're going to do is I've taken some Waverly white chalk paint and I'm just going to dip the end of my brush in there and we're going to give it just a stroke like this just go around follow the contour of the heart and just give it a bit of shape okay just like so and you can fade this out you can do this however you wish we're just going to give it a little bit of shape and there's no mistakes here if you don't like this you can go back over it you can um make it as dark or as light as you want um just make sure you keep your paint mix hand on or excuse me your paint mix um, hands on and you can do anything you want with this all right just like so we're gonna do this just like so okay I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get this contour finished and I'll be right back here we have our heart contoured okay and what we're gonna do now is I've printed off my Cricut a clock face and I did it with what I think is the most beautiful pattern so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna apply this to our clock face our clock face to our heart I should say and I'll be right back okay so I went back and I made shiplap lines on our heart and I think this just kind of brings this out. I'm going to go ahead and stencil in our numbers and I'll be right back to show you that and then we're going to actually peel up the vinyl. Um, I think it's going to look absolutely fantastic and I'm hoping it turns out great. Okay, be right back. I'm going to go ahead though. I want to show you how I'm going to stencil these on here. I have some Waverly black ink paint and just like this just gonna stencil over um i want this to look older so um i'm not gonna be real fancy about how the paint lies as long as the numbers are pretty good and covered just like so let's do this just like so there we go all these excuse the tapping guys just like that I don't want it to get too dry because it'll peel on me so okay I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull our stencil off and see what happens okay friends and here we are after all the distressing and things have been done I love the way this is turning out. I think this is so cute and it looks old and distressed and that's exactly what I was going for. That is so awesome. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, three 
of the building blocks from the Dollar Tree and put them here, here, and here. So it gives some dimension behind our clock so that the works will fit and I can get the hands put on as well. So I'm simply just going to take, I think I will take the lighter colored ones, these, just three of them, and I'm simply going to hot glue them to the back of my clock. Okay, friends, and I've taken three of our building blocks and I've put them on the back of our heart clock because that is going to keep it away from the wall where my works will fit when I get them. And here's what we're going to do next. Okay, friends, and there we have our clock. Um, I simply put the um, works in the front and um, have it all set up to put the works in the back. We're going to go ahead and we're going to reattach our nifty hanger. The Dollar Tree has stepped it up so very, very much on these hangers, guys. They will not fall through, and I just love them. Let's put this through like this, and this clock is ready to hang. I'll have the final hanging picture on my thumbnail. I think this is just adorable. I'm going to put the works on the back, put some batteries in it, and she'll be good to go. I am so excited. This turned out so great. I want to thank the Shabby French Door and also Sandra of the Showin's Nest for um, hosting and co-hosting this challenge today. I'll have the link to both of their channels in my description box below, as well as a link to the playlist. Go check out Sandra's channel. I love her channel. I watch it all the time. And also go check out um, the Shabby French Door. She's unique and she's so talented. Okay, guys, thank you so much. If you're not subscribed, I hope that you go ahead and do so. And I hope everyone has a fantastic day. Be blessed. Bye.